God will bring him up, bring him back down. Yeah. See, I'm going somewhere with this allegory. Because so many times we, we tend to choose tradition over truth. We choose religion over righteousness. And see, the universe of God don't work in that vibratory way. God works in inarguability. Inarguability is gravity. You think gravity care about your religion, your bank account, your height, your weight, your hue? You think you think you think the universe of God care about your heartbeat? Well, stop and control your heartbeat. You can tell your arm to do to stop. Tell your heart to stop. That's where you find God. So I brought my phones up here because so many people always want to call people on their cell phone. But in the middle of the word cell, you have E-L, which is short for Elohim. El Shaddai. Y'all give me another L. El okay, well tell me something. I just want to know we connect. Because instead of calling somebody on your cell phone, which is really your jail phone, how many of y'all addicted to your cell phone? I know I am. I leave it somewhere. Oh my gosh, my phone. I got to get my phone. I need you to make a call on your L phone. L phone. It's called your God phone. When you going to call somebody on your L phone? Because when we do that, man, that's when we can stay connected to our purpose. Because if you leave this realm without knowledge of your purpose, the worst thing to do in life is to die and not know why you have lived. The worst thing is to die and not know what you live. Nobody's not going to remember you for how much money you had in your account. They're not going to remember you for how big your house was. You on TV, great. They're going to remember you for how you connected with God's people. Israel. Judah. Would Judah stand up? It's time for you to stand up, Judah. It's time for you to stop falling on the nation. So I'm going to read this scripture and get out of your way because it's, it's time. Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah 10 says, God's and idols. And I, and I love talking about this football stuff because um, I sat him down one day and I said, um, he said, you know, how was it to play in the NFL? I said, um, NFL stands for niggas to lease. They used to sell slaves, now they lease them. <laughs> I mean, come on, Pastor. You know what I'm talking about. Because how can all the brothers end up broke when they done playing this game? But we celebrate that crap, and we don't know that it's a game within a game. So this thing called Jeremiah 10 says, God, God's an idol. Hear what the Lord says to you, people of Israel. This is what the Lord says. Do not lean on the ways of the nations. That's big. Or be terrified by the signs of heaven. You know how this thunderstorm lightning from my bag used to make us sit down. Sit down. It is, it's lightning. 